I think the next best thing to seeing a tornado, which is usually what chasers are after, is seeing a structured storm. Structured storms can be really incredible to see, and it also allows you to see how they operate. Because when you're looking at a low precipitation, structured storm, you see everything. Did you know that you can actually change the environment and even the weather right around you? It's true, and the best example that I could show you this is with something called the urban heat island effect. Yeah, you can see right behind me is the city of downtown Toronto. There's all kinds of different surfaces. So we've got pavement, we've got black colored roofs, uh, glass, people, industry, and all of that is heating up during the day, creating a heat bubble over the city. And at nighttime, all of that heat is slowly released into the atmosphere and it can start to become even warmer overnight, four to five degrees Celsius warmer in the city than say out the countryside. But it's not just the temperature that it affects, it also can affect a thunderstorm. Let's say you have a storm moving into the city and then it hits that heat bubble, now it'll just explode in terms of convection. We could have two times the amount of rain out of that thunderstorm than say if the city wasn't actually there. So the next time someone says you can't control the weather, tell them you already have. And Tom Reynolds is celebrating 20 years at the Weather Network. You're number 23. You've had more co-hosts. Than years I've been here. <laughs> I burned them out fast. Kevin Yard was trying his very best to be cool in these beautiful conditions that will continue all week. Yeah. You're going to need your shades. I've got mine here. Are these cooler ones? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you didn't think so, Emily. Back inside to you. Here you go. Hey. Make sure you join us again tomorrow morning, 530 to 9.